feel great because we've just finished a huge day with the Prague um, Philharmonic Orchestra here in Smetsky Studio. I, I don't know how many cues we've done, but it's a lot of music. I tried to get as much as I could of the big, gigantic moments that were where we needed a big orchestra. And so we've had 60 players here today for eight hours. It's been glorious. It's an amazing feeling thinking back to the little the tinkering on the piano to find the main themes that I did at my piano at home literally four or five months ago. Now it's gone through a process of development, orchestration, backwards and forwards with, di with directors and producers and finally ends up on the music stands of 60 musicians and it's a, it's a wonderful feeling and, and, and it sounds huge. It was important for me to have a heroic Musketeers theme, not least because it makes the job a lot more fun if you have a big theme to aim for in each episode. But there's a big heroic theme uh, for when the Musketeers deliver on their mission. And the challenge is how, how to maintain that without repeating yourself. The theme had to, had to have a high point in it, so it has, a, it has a rising motion over the first four bars and, and delivers on a chord change, uh, the heroic action so it rises from a from a D up to a top E flat and so when we hit that top E flat that's the, uh, the mummy shot. So I start with staccato cellos playing an insistent rhythm in 3-4 which helps us drive the action on. I added bass drums played very hard with hard sticks to give it a real sense of urgency. There are chords in the horns and trombones to give us the harmony changes. And then the melody happens on violins, violas and trumpet and first horn. Then I add some very hard-hitting percussion on syncopated notes and some cymbal swells as the melody releases. So as you hit the high points of the melody, there's a big trill on a suspended cymbal. It's very exciting going to Prague and recording uh, the big cues from Musketeers. It's rare on a TV show, actually, that you, you have a f really full orchestra. So it's going to be fantastic. The trickiest cue for me in episode one was a big long sequence that we call the ravine sequence. It's where the musketeers rescue a hostage, get in there, get him out, and over this ravine into safety. The cue begins in with tension and battle. Uh, we get hints of the theme coming through, but always slightly thwarted. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, just a few notes. My big moment musically, the first time you really hit the, the theme, is when the hostage has finally reached the other side of the ravine. And it's only when the musketeers get the upper hand that we start to let the theme go and then it really lands as the mission is accomplished. Six clicks into, six six clicks into one, six, three in the Just right telephone. Six clicks into one, six, three in the right All the orchestral musicians have a click in their ear so that we can sync the music precisely to the picture, particularly in action. A certain bar hits a certain point. A lot of the action stuff in, in Musketeers is so uh, married to the picture. So around about 79, when we dip down to Subito and Mezzo Forte, that seems to me to be too quiet. I think the Mezzo Forte... The tricky thing was to get the sense of build. You want intensity, but you need it to go somewhere so that when we really release and the and the Musketeers are finally on top of the situation. We really deliver that tune and hopefully the audience respond. Yeah. 